Hey guys, this is Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today I'm going to do a video that covers CB power supplies. If you're going to use a uh, mobile radio like I have here as a base station, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that, there's a lot of good base stations out there that operate off of 110, um, but there's a whole lot more options and a whole lot cheaper options if you want to just repurpose a, a mobile radio and have it set up as your base station. You won't notice any difference in the quality or the output or the reception if you buy a good mobile uh, and use a 12 volt to one or a 120 to 12 volt power adapter than you will if you buy a uh, straight mobile or straight base station. So uh, don't let the fact that uh, you know it's a smaller looking radio stop you. As long as you buy one that has the same features, they really a modern sideband uh, mobile radio like the Unit in 980 SSB has better options than say the old unit in Washington which is a base station I used to have or the uh, Cobra 148 I think it is or 142 GLT whatever their nicer sideband uh, base station that they had out for many years or even the 2000 really so uh, when you thinking about just using a standard radio that hasn't been tuned up or you know isn't carrying more wattage just a regular 4 watt AM 12 watt sideband radio you're gonna need to get uh, something in the three amp range, right? And Radio Shack, uh, which is definitely having some financial problems, but is still around for many years, and they probably still make it. Uh, they have the three amp, uh, 12 volt power output here. And it's regulated, it's nice, it's, it's three amps. You've got uh, your hot and your positive, negative connections here for just plain wire. It also has uh, the connection here. You can even use it for a cigarette uh, outlet, like a lighter outlet, if you want to plug something in just for testing. Obviously, if you're going to go with a permanent setup, that's kind of not the way you want to do it. Go ahead and set yourself up one. Um, nice unit. You can find these on eBay. $15 probably, including shipping. I, I got this as part of a, a larger pile of bits and pieces I picked up along the way. And it's great. So I use that uh, and, and been very happy with it. That's what powers my unit in. I've never had a problem with it not having enough output to run my standard radio here. Right, so now if you're running like um, a Conix or a Galaxy or radio that's been tuned up, you know, that has the beacon tune job done to it, that might be uh, drawing a little more amperage and current, uh, you're going to want something a little higher than 3 amps carrier. So what you can move up to, and again, Radio Shack uh, also sells this, and, and again, they're going out of business. I just picked this up, not uh, more than maybe about a month ago from my local Radio Shack store, which unfortunately is going out of business, but this is a 19 amp uh, regulated power supply. It has a fan on it for when it's drawing heavily. And I paid like $32, I think it was, on clearance. I don't know what the regular price is, but 32 bucks is about what I feel comfortable spending on something like that. And again, it has an on-off switch. This one doesn't have the cigarette lighter outlet, uh, but it does have the hot and cold and uh, positive negative setup here for a nice thick gauge wire. This will probably work up to, say, maybe 50 to 100 watts, maybe even more than that. Maybe somebody out there can correct me on that. So you could use an amplifier, or I'm sorry, a power supply like that to run maybe a small amp uh, if you want to run an amp, or if you're into ham radio, certainly you could run a 2-meter uh, two, uh, mobile or a 10-meter mobile with that as long as you're you know, not talking about massive amounts of power. Like I said, keeping it under 100 watts, I would imagine, uh, 19 amp power supply ought to be just fine for you and uh, so I picked that up uh, like I said about a month ago and the only reason I got it was it's just like super clearance because right before I bought that uh, I had gone on Amazon and picked up one of these which is kind of this ugly duck looking thing here and uh, let's see it says model S-360-12 and believe it or not, this is a 12 volt, 30 amp power supply, this little silver box. Now it doesn't uh, have the niceties of these two Radio Shack ones with a nice on and off or good pegs. And it doesn't even come with a power cord, but uh, I got this for $12 with free shipping, which is just crazy for a 30 amp, 12 volt power supply. And again, it's switchable. It's 110 or, uh, or 220. Obviously here in the U.S. we're using 110. So it didn't come with a cord, so I went down to the local Goodwill and I picked up an old computer cord, a three-prong computer cord, just cut the end of it off and was able to attach it here. And you've got a bunch of plugs here in the back, and you know, you've know you got your, your line in, your neutral, and your ground. 
And then on this end, you have a variety of plugins for your uh, voltage, 12 volt output. There's also a small tunable pot there that you can adjust the voltage with. And when the unit is plugged in, this little green LED that lights up. And now, uh, with something like this in 30 amps, you can run pretty much most of your ham gear that's out there. I don't know how many watts, but I'd have to think probably 400 uh, watts would probably be doable with that kind of a power supply. Maybe, um, maybe more than that. I don't know. And again, I'm not really that big on amplifiers, so I'm not sure what the limits would be, but. I would guess, I mean, I know for sure you could run a 250 on it. I powered up uh, uh, some equipment that ran that kind of output, and it seemed to do fine. So there's that, and that was very inexpensive, $12. You know, this here on clearance at Radio Shack was uh, 32 and this one you can uh, buy all day used on uh, online for $15. All three of them would make excellent uh, power supplies for a base station setup if you decide to use a mobile radio. And as far as which one's the best... I don't know, if you're going to run a stock radio, uh, there's no need to go into major amperage. So, yeah, the little 3 amp job there will work just fine. It's been my main power supply for, uh, let's see, I'm going to say six or seven years since I picked it up. That 19 amp, uh, which I, I got, you know, like I said, because it was on clearance, would certainly do the same job. Uh, it has a fan, but that fan only comes on when the amperage uh, draws heavy enough for it to require cooling of the internals. So that's kind of nice. It's quiet under normal operation. And this uh, this little uh, 11 or $12 unit is, you know, it's, I, I just kind of, the only thing I don't like about it is, uh, you know, it's kind of like there's, the wires are not really exposed, but they are kind of exposed. You could, you could say that there might be a fire risk. It's, it's pretty, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's kind of flimsy, uh, but I suppose it's safe. Uh, and I, I do mean I suppose it's safe, because I'm not sure. It will work, and it certainly throws a lot of power, and uh, you know, it gets good reviews on Amazon. I just don't know about having something like this in my house. Um, you know, I'm out here in the garage, so I only really have this equipment on when I'm out here, but I'm not so sure about that. I, I'm going to use it, I'm going to play with it, but uh, I don't think, uh, and maybe with time I'll start to trust it, but... I just don't trust it as it is right there. A better, better enclosure would probably be a better setup for that. But that's it. It's a short video, um, but I wanted to cover. You know, we're going to get into base station setups. I'll show you a little more in depth the wiring that I have for this in, in one of my future videos. But this is just just to give you an idea of how simple it is to take. You know, let's say you find a used radio on eBay or at a flea market, and you're in it for twenty five dollars and you spend another 15 for a power supply, that's a whole lot less than you're going to find a good used unit in Washington or a, a good Cobra base station, um, at least on eBay. You might pick one up at a flea market somewhere where somebody doesn't really realize what they have. But to get a good sideband base station, you're looking 75 to to $100. To get a good sideband mobile and an amp, you're probably looking half that price. So things to consider, right? Anyway, I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, Stay tuned, there'll be more just like it. Also, if you have requests, I do that too, so uh, let me know what you need to see. Take care.